Hey there, and welcome to How to CBU. Today, I'll be taking you through how to complete CBU's online application. To get started, from the CBU homepage, navigate to the top header and click on Apply Now. On the Apply Now page, scroll down to the bottom and click on I'm ready to apply, start my application. Prior to beginning your application, you'll be required to create an application account. This will be used to log into the application portal where you can start a new application as well as view the status of any current applications that you have open. To get started, first fill in your contact details, including your first name, your last name, and your email address. Next, click on the checkbox to confirm your consent to be contacted by CBU. If you wish to view the terms and conditions, you can do so by clicking this link here. Next, if you're an agent acting on a student's behalf to begin this application, you'll choose yes in the dropdown. If you're an individual completing this application on your own, you'll choose no. Next, you'll choose your expected start term, or when you wish to begin your studies at CBU. If you wish to begin in fall of 2020, you'll choose the first option. Lastly, you'll be required to create a password to log into your account. It's recommended that you choose something that is both strong, but also easy to remember. Lastly, once all of the information on this page has been filled in, click the Create Account button to get started. Now you've successfully created your application account, You'll see here we've been redirected to the Application Portal homepage. From this page, you'll be able to create a new application as well as view the status of any submitted applications. To get started with a new application, click this button here. If you're a Canadian citizen or permanent resident creating this application, you'll choose the first option. If you're an international student residing outside of Canada, you'll choose the second option. This page is confirming that you've chosen the fall of 2020 to apply to CBU. If you wish to change this term, you can do so by clicking the Change My Selection button. Otherwise, click Continue to proceed. Now you're ready to get started. Under the Academic Plan section of the application, you'll first choose the program that you wish to apply for. If, for example, you wish to apply to the Bachelor of Business Administration program, you'll click the drop-down and find this within the list. Next, you'll once again provide the start term that you wish to begin your studies. If, for example, you wish to begin in fall of 2020, you'll choose the first option in the drop-down list. If you're transferring to CBU from another university or college, you'll choose yes for this option set. If you'd also like to request a transfer credit assessment to have your credits from another institution potentially transferred over, you'll also choose yes. Otherwise, you can choose no. If you're applying directly to CBU, perhaps after graduating high school or being out of school for some time, you can choose no for this option set. In the next section of the application, you'll be required to provide more details about yourself, including your preferred name or goes by name. My name is Brett, and my preferred name is also Brett, so I would input this into the field. You'll note that some fields on the application have a small red asterisk next to them. This simply means these fields are mandatory and must be filled in in order to proceed with the application. Those fields without a red asterisk are optional and don't need to be filled in at this time in order to continue. In the next section, you'll be required to provide more details regarding your permanent home address. This is the address of which you originated from. If your current mailing address is different from your permanent mailing address, you'll click this checkbox here. You can then fill in more details regarding your mailing address. If not, you can leave this unchecked. In the next section, you'll provide more details regarding your demographics. For your citizenship, you'll choose one of three options, either Canadian citizen, permanent resident of Canada, or international student. You'll then provide your province of residency. Next, you'll provide more details concerning your gender, your mother tongue, or primary language spoken at home, and your birth date. Lastly, if you have this handy, you can also choose to fill in your SIN number as well. However, this is not a mandatory field and is not required at this time in order to proceed. For the next section is a self-identification set of options. Again, these are optional and don't need to be filled in at this time, if you choose so. For example, if you're an Indigenous person, you would choose yes for this option set, and you would then be asked to specify. For any of these that are true and apply to you, you'll choose yes. For those that do not apply to you, you can leave these defaulted as no. The last section on this page will ask you to provide more details about your emergency contact. That is, the person that will be first contacted in the event of an emergency involving yourself. You'll be asked to provide their first name, their last name, as well as their phone number. You can optionally provide their email address as well as their address information if you choose to. However, this is not mandatory in order to proceed. Once all of the information has been filled out on this page, click the Save and Continue button to proceed. In the next section of the application, you'll be asked to provide more information about your education history. If you're currently attending an educational institution, 
you'll choose yes in the dropdown. Otherwise, you'll choose no. Next, you're asked to provide information regarding your high school. You can find your high school by typing the first few characters of the high school name in this field. You'll then see a drop-down list appear where you can then scroll to find the correct option. Next, you'll fill in the start month that you began your high school education and the start year. Additionally, you'll provide the complete and or expected end month of your high school education as well as the complete and or expected end year. If you were homeschooled, you'll click this checkbox here where you can then provide the school name and address of your home school. If you wish to add high school information, you can click the Add button to add additional high school. If you've written or intend to write any of these options, including the IB Diploma, the IB Certificate, or AP College Board, you can then click the checkbox here. If not, you can leave these blank. For Nova Scotia High School students, if you have your Nova Scotia High School ID, you can fill this information in here. You would also click this checkbox to signify your agreement. If not, you can leave this information blank and continue on. If you are currently attending post-secondary or have attended post-secondary, you can fill in this information by clicking the Add button, where then you can fill in the organization name and you'll see a drop-down list appear here where you can then choose the correct option. Similar to high school, you'll be asked to provide the month started, the year started, the month ended, the year ended, and whether or not you graduated. In the additional info section of the application, you're asked if you withdrew from another educational institution. If you have, you'll choose yes in the dropdown. Otherwise, you'll choose no. You'll see at the bottom, it asks, once you have submitted your application, you'll be asked to upload any supplemental items you would like to include. You'll see, once we've submitted the application, that this information will ask to be provided. Once all of the information on this page has been filled in, click the Save and Continue button to continue on. Next, you're asked to provide additional information and confirmation of your application. The first question asks, how did you hear about CBU? If, for example, you heard about CBU through social media, advertising, perhaps you attended a CBU event, or your guidance counselor at school told you about CBU, you can choose whichever option fits best. If you're interested in learning more about campus housing and off-campus housing offered by CBU, you can choose yes to receive more information. If not, you can leave this defaulted as no. The last section here asks for confirmation of the following. First, I understand that once my application has been submitted, it cannot be altered in any way. This means that you cannot make any changes or edits to your application once submitted. To confirm this, click yes. Next, it states, I confirm that all information submitted in this application is my own, is factually true, and honestly presented. If this is true and you confirm this, click yes. The last point states, I understand that an offer of admission is conditional, pending receipt of final transcripts showing work comparable in quality to that upon which the offer was based. If this is true and you confirm this, click yes. Last, you'll be asked to provide your signature of confirmation for this application. Once all of the information has been submitted on this page, you can then click the Submit Application button to submit your application. If you wish to preview your application in full before submission, click this button here. You'll then see that we're redirected to a page which shows all of the information you filled in on the application. If you wish to make any edits to your application prior to submitting, be sure to click the Edit Application button first hand. Otherwise, click Submit Application to go ahead and submit. And there we have it. Our application has been successfully submitted. You'll see in the status section that there is action required, meaning there are further steps that we must take in order for the application to be processed. To view these actions, click View. You'll see that we've been redirected to the Supplemental Items and Documents page, which shows that there are supplemental items outstanding that must be included with our application. We can see next to High School Transcript there is a red asterisk, meaning this is a mandatory supplemental item that must be included. To attach a document, click Choose File where you can then choose the document to upload and click Upload All. You can see here that our high school transcript has been successfully attached. If you wish to remove this document and perhaps attach another, you can click Remove. Now, if we go back to My Account, we can see here that the status has changed to Submitted, meaning all of the necessary supplemental items or documents have been attached. Once your application has been reviewed, and it has been confirmed that all necessary documents and supplemental items have been attached to your application, it will then be marked complete, and your status will change from submitted to complete. 
From here, if there are further steps needed, including additional documents or supplemental items, the status will then again change to Action Required. It's recommended that you keep an eye on your email, as well as check the application portal regularly to ensure you're keeping up to date with every status change that is made. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.